Randy Posh, one of the greatest speakers of this age, once said that when there's an elephant in the room, you should introduce it. And I think there's an elephant in the room, so I'm going to introduce it. That elephant is the number of human beings on this planet. So as you can see, uh, since the time of Christ, human beings have been climbing at a steady rate. And, you know, something happened here in the 1800s. And what happened that caused, you know, the rate of human beings to just exponentially start to climb? You know, what is, gonna, what is this graph going to look like in the future? What is it going to look like five years from now? Twenty years from now? Fifty years from now? Where is that graph going? And so, you know, the thing that happened here in the 1800s was the Industrial Revolution. We started burning fossil fuels like coal and oil. So today I'm going to talk about uh, how population, how our population started to increase and why it matters. So uh, our population started to increase because of something called exponential growth. This exponential growth graph looks very similar to the, the graph of human population. Uh, exponential growth is used to describe the size of anything that is growing steadily. Kenneth Boulding said in 1966 that anyone who believes that exponential growth can go on forever in a finite world is either a madman or an economist. So what would be a fun example of, of, of exponential growth? Well, a fun example would be <coughs> bunnies. Okay, so let's say that there's a huge island, okay? And there are, there's a, a, a number of bunnies that live on this island. And for 40 billion years, there has been a stockpile of carrots that have been being created. Since the, since the earth was created, you know, these carrots have been being built. And one day there's a small number of bunnies on an island, and eventually they find the carrots. And what happens when the bunnies find the carrots is they start eating all these carrots. And then what happens is the bunnies have all this food, so they start to multiply, and, and two pairs of bunnies have like ten bunnies, and then these bunnies have even more bunnies. And eventually there is a ridiculous amount of bunnies living on this small island. So there are seven billion bunnies. But what's going to happen to these seven billion bunnies when they start running out of carrots? So I'd like you to think of these carrots as a house of cards. It takes a really long time to build up these carrots. But it only takes a second to knock them down. So... Bunnies and carrots are very much like human beings and oil on this planet. So let's say this is, is the, uh, the graph of human population, and this is the graph of oil. And these things are both growing at an exponential rate. Okay? And essentially, in the 1800s, this is when we found the carrots. And we started using all of the carrots, and we started multiplying at an exponential growth rate. And so, the oil has been being created for 40 billion years since, you know, since the dawn of civilization, I mean, since the Earth actually began. Uh, the sun, the oil is just tons of energy that has been created for 40 billion years, and we are using it in 20 or 30 years. We are using all of this energy that was created for 40 billion years, and we are just using it right now. And so, um, it's eventually, you know, the more bunnies that were created, the more humans that were created, then the more bunnies that are able to then go and dig for more carrots. So the more humans that are then able to go and dig for more oil. And uh, the thing is that the bunnies need the carrots, the carrots don't need the bunny. So this graph shows causation, not only correlation. <coughs> so this is peak oil. We are at the top right here of the amount of oil that we can uh, produce in the world. And so let's use the bunnies for example. Uh, the bunnies let's say the bunnies reach the top of the amount of carrots that they can dig, okay? They can no longer dig as many carrots as they need to use to eat these carrots. That is the same with the production of oil. We are at the, at the peak of oil, so we can no longer harvest as much oil as we need to use. And so something happens after exponential growth, right? Exponential growth can't keep going on forever. And so at some point you'll hit a plateau, and then you will go into exponential decline. And that is what is happening right here at the other side of peak oil. And uh, an interesting fact is that uh, uh, last year, for the first time ever in the history of the world, we had a production decrease in oil. The bunnies dug up less carrots than the year before. I mean, this has to happen. 
It is bound to happen. There has to be years, eventually, when we dig up less carrots than we did the year before. Now, I thought this graph was really, really interesting. It shows this is the age of oil, and it's just such a small blimp. This is only 3,000 years, and 3,000 years is just such a small time on the course of the worldwide existence. And, I mean, th these are the bunnies right here. The bunnies were eating 534 million, million carrots every single day. This is just not sustainable. We are burning 534 million gallons of oil every single day. And this is something that is not going to be sustainable. This is something that is going to have to peak and eventually get exponential decline. So, maybe these bunnies should have planned ahead. You know, maybe they knew that they were running out of carrots, but they just kept on eating these carrots anyways. The bunnies, they were driving in a car, but they were only looking in the rear view mirror. They weren't looking ahead of them. There's an elephant in the room, and I think it's time that people start talking about it.